Sable is a unique journey where players guide the titular character through a vast desert. The game's narrative is uncovered through the combination of the NPC dialogue and environmental cues, including the enigmatic remains of spaceships and ancient buildings of a long lost civilization, providing the players a chance to create their own interpretations of the story, which I personally think is a great aspect of it. Players have the freedom to explore and embark on adventures in a non-linear manner, enhancing the game's overall sense of wonder and discovery and incorporates platforming mechanics through a stamina gauge, enabling players to run and climb. Sable gets at the beginning also a stone that enables the ability to endlessly glide in mid-air and also to pick up in the event of a fall. The stamina meter can be expanded as well and players naturally come to know where this can be done. The game's themes of self-discovery and finding one's place in the world are relatable and universal. And the game's subtle storytelling approach can be a refreshing change of pace from the more overtly narrative-driven games. The stone you get in the beginning is part of the gliding ritual and gives the journey a sense of purpose because those stones are rare and given to the next one when the journey ends. The the player will encounter a variety of characters who each offer their own perspective on life and what it means to find one's purpose and leaving players to reflect on after the game is over. Accompanied by a mellow soundtrack from Japanese Breakfast, the music always performs a different rendition of the pieces depending on the time of day, enhancing the immersive atmosphere. The game's sound design is also noteworthy, with atmospheric sound effects and ambient noise that help to immerse the player in the game's world. Sable's hoverbike and entire are both customizable, including the addition of story-driven masks. These elements can be obtained by exploring or completing quests offered by various characters, usually involving the collection of small materials such as insects, plants and fish. The fishing minigame, while not necessary for progress, can also be an enjoyable distraction. Although clothing is purely aesthetic, some masks possess some unique properties. Hoverbike parts, on the other hand, greatly impact how the player navigates the world of Midden, with varying degrees of maneuverability, acceleration and top speed available depending on the selected parts. The game's quest design can be simple at times, because of the main focus on exploration and discovery. However, some places are almost reminiscent of Zelda dungeons, with a few mechanics that add to the game's sense of puzzle solving and adventure. Unfortunately, the biggest stand in the armor that Sable has is its technical problems. While the big views of the world can often be very impressive, it's clear that not many optimizations were made and sometimes the frame rate even rarely runs on single digits. The game's controls and mechanics can also be clunky at times, making it sometimes frustrating to traverse the game's world. Sadly, there were also moments that I had to consciously restart the game, either because the color shader were displayed wrong or I could no longer get out of the fishing minigame and got stuck. I played it on the PlayStation 5 on this case, so I did some research and this seems to be a problem on every platform. Even on PC you can't fix the load starter. Another point of consideration for some players may be the lack of guidance or direction. While the sense of discovery and exploration is part of the game's appeal, some players may find themselves lost or unsure of what to do next. This lack of structure may be frustrating for some, but for others it may add to the game's sense of mystery and wonder. But I have to admit that I rarely had to open a guide to really see everything the world has to offer. 
The game's story is largely left to interpretation, which can be both a strength and a weakness depending on the player preferences. However, the game does offer some clear narrative threads and emotional moments that can resonate with players. The cel-shaded art style of Sable is a clear inspiration from the science fiction and fantasy comics of Shin Shiryu, aka Mobius, to create a striking visual landscape that is both beautiful and haunting. The game's surreal and almost abstract style is a feast for the eyes, making every environment feel unique and immersive. The game's art style alone is worth experiencing, and it's clear that the developers put a lot of love and care into crafting the game's world. Overall, Sable is a unique and visually stunning game that offers players an immersive journey through a beautiful and haunting world. The game's self-discovery theme and sense of exploration are commendable, and the game's art style is a clear standout. However, the technical issues may be a big turnoff for some players, so it's important to manage your expectations and be patient with the game's flaws.